Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Isaac Frost and Nate Diaz. All right, get out your 209 tattoos, folks. Here he is, the one, the only, Nate Diaz, making the walk yet again. It's been a long time, but Nate Diaz is back tonight. He has put in all the right work. You know, few guys in this division work harder than Nate Diaz. It's good to see him back in the And you notice it, John, right? The cardio. The cardio is one thing that stands out about Nate Diaz. He looks like he's just touching guys with all of the strikes, but the buildup from all the, the activity that he puts out usually will make his opponents wilt. And once he gets him to the ground, he's a jiu-jitsu black belt that can finish the fight with a number of submissions. Yeah, he'll hit you with the open hand, too. He'll invoke that Stockton slap. You think we see that tonight? Stockton slap, but it's just so disrespectful. What I love watching is so Nate Diaz. Got to get you a Lafayette slap or something. <laughs> Good to see Nate Diaz back here tonight, one of the biggest fan bases in the world, and they are all watching the pride of Stockton, California here tonight. Well, we really don't see a lot of guys in MMA with boxing skills on this level. He certainly could have gone on to great things as a professional boxer, but he believes he has the best hands in the sport, and he will be looking to prove as much here tonight. And he has the background to prove that, right? He's not saying something that is not true. He does have the ability to say that. He can say he has the best hands in the game because he has shown it. And when you watch him box, when you watch a guy go into a fight with this young man and think, that it does not matter what his credentials are. He is going to stand with them and prove that he's better. They usually will go to sleep because no action is wasted. The jab starts it all. He fights behind this beautiful, educated jab, jabbing high, jabbing low, and then the overhand right is unbelievable. It's his kill shot, he calls it, and he lands it all the time. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Diaz is five years the elder. Same numbers on reach. Now here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, 13 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, USA, ladies and gentlemen, and Ultimate Fighter season winner, Nate Diaz! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 254 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, Iceman! Okay guys, protect yourself at all times, obey my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now, we'll get you free. surprise Nate Diaz has a decided reach advantage here tonight it's one thing to have it it's another to use it effectively you know Nate Diaz is a master at getting his hands to the target and that figures to be a big part of the game plan tonight against this opponent hook to the head there by Frost timing his shots nicely here champ he's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes big ball punch land now he gets back to range Just out of range with that right hook. 
Well, Nate Diaz has certainly found the range here early, DC. This is a fighter close to my heart, close to my left forearm. 209, representing well here tonight. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Diaz's kick to the body is blocked. Unable to connect with a right hook. Oh, tagged him with the uppercut, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He was so used to punches coming straight, he didn't see the hook. I'm sorry, he didn't see the uppercut coming from underneath. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Straight left counter finds his own. It's such a fast leg kick. Try to establish that jab. Oh, and he tags it with the straight. Nice job there by Frost Joe. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Big punch land. Ooh. Diaz's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. 27 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. Finds a home for the left hand there. They continue to exchange. That kick blocked by Isaac Frost. He loaded up on that right hand too. Oh, beautiful jab from Nate Diaz. If he gets that weapon going early, could be trouble. Yeah, he starts touching you with the jab over and over again. And then when he starts to let that right hand fly, you start to see real big reactions from his opponent. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. there by Frost. Blocks the shot. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Frost. Just missed with the left there. And they separate. Oh, nice right hand. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, big punch land. Strong straight left there. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tough, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. And he landed the right hand there. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. What a punch. Just misses with the straight right. Diaz, his hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Nicely done to the body. Beautiful straight punch there by Diaz. Man, how good is his right hook counter? And DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Look at the angle of that nice body kick.
All right, next round is underway, and somewhat surprisingly, he got out of that previous round without absorbing anything in terms of significant damage, despite the fact that his opponent was pretty offensive. His opponent was very active, but it seems as though he can see almost everything coming in this direction. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Can't take many of those. You better check. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Frost. Right punches there. Huge block there. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Diaz. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Trying to establish that jab once again. Diaz's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive food, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Oh, nice strike landed there by Frost. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the box. How about that shin? Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, misses with the jab. Clean with the right hook. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. That's a big strike right there. Back and forth we go. Ooh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times to the face. So 95 total strikes have landed for Nate Diaz. Well, the efficiency rate DC has started to dip. 29% now the accuracy rate against Nate Diaz. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Isaac Frost gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. Big roundhouse now, just misses. All right, so a good job defensively. Oh! Another shot lands upstairs. Good punch. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Twenty seconds to go, round two. Oh, he continues to land an elbow. Oh, he might be out. Oh, and what a round! 
Archer, there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Third round underway. Nice punch lands over the top. Work here, staying busy. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Diaz. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. And they separate. Effective punch there by Diaz. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go take that finish down now. Punch coming, it's blocked. Throwing that jab, no good. Well, now if you're the opponent, you really got to be careful as Diaz is able to find a home for that right hand yet again. When Diaz starts landing the right hand, you have got to stay firm. You have got to dig your heels in the ground and say, no way you're going to just run me over. Easier said than done when you're facing Nathan Diaz. Gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 46 seconds of round number 3. Playing the winner by knockout, Iceman! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.